What's next for this superstar in the long course season? I think I'm going to OTC in training camp in the beginning of May. I'm gonna have my exam like May 8th, so I think I'm gonna go straight to OTC after for one month. And then I will go back to France, do my trials uh, mid of June, and then many worlds after. Um, I think I will stay in France this summer and train with my old coach, so it should be fun. That was world champion and NCAA destroyer Leon Marchand in April right after the Westmont Pro Swim, but before the three-week altitude training camp with Bob Bowman at the Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs that left Reagan Smith going a 203 200 meter fly and left us saying, She's gone. She's gone. So I was thinking, if Reagan Smith was swimming this well coming off of altitude, I mean, she went a 208 in the 200 IM, and no one even thought she could swim breaststroke. What is Leon Madman Marchand gonna go at his French world trials that start in just two days? Luckily, I've got a few things to show you that I think might make a pretty good case and give us a good set of information of how we can guess what Leon might drop on us. First of all, let's get a little refresher on what Leon's best times are in long course. 208.7 in the 200 meter breast, 153.3 in the tuner fly, 155.2 in the 2 IM, and 404.2 in the 400 IM. Leon has said that he plans to swim all four of those events at the French trials, plus the 200 free, probably not trying to go for an individual race there, but more so to swim on France's 800 free relay, which Leon thinks has a good shot to medal in Fukuoka and an even better shot to medal, or even more, in his words, in Paris. And for reference, Leon's best flat start 200 free is in fact a 153.7. Swam in 2019, even though he did split 147.5 in the French relay at the World Championships last summer. Now it is worth noting that since then, Marchand split the fastest short course yards relay split in history at the NCAA Championships, that was a 128.4. So I think it's safe to say that if Leon does swim the 200 free at French Nationals, he gonna go a best time. Next, let's look at how Leon's events fit into the French trial schedule. The meet starts June 11th, which is this Sunday, and run through June 16th. So it's a six day meet. Leon is planning on swimming five events. I think he will swim at least four, if not all five of them. And as you can see by my very professionally drawn out chart here, the events line up really well for Mr. Marchand. The only schedule I could find was in French. However, it's a pretty easy translation. I'll walk you through it. Day one, he's got the 200 breast. Prelims, finals, pretty simple. Day two, 200 free. Again, I think we'll see him swim this at least a prelims, if not a finals as well. Day three, 200 butterfly. Day four, 200 IM. And day five, 400 IM. I don't think Leon's planning on swimming anything on that final day six. We've seen Leon take on multiple day meets in the past, and we've seen him do it back to back, circa 2022 and 23, Pac-12 championships into the NCAA championships. He always swims very well at the Pac-12 championships, and then swims even better at those NCAA championships just a few weeks later. We've got about five weeks between these French championships and the world championships, right about that sweet spot for Leon where he knows how to do the double taper, even though he'll be swimming with his old coach from France and not Bob Bowman for those five weeks leading into Fukuoka. I'm gonna look at those past Pac-12 championships as a reference point to make my guesses for these French trials. So let's dive in. This year at the Pac-12 championships, Leon Marchand broke the NCAA record in not only the 400 IM, which he had already broken a month prior in January, at a dual meet, but he also broke the 200 breast NCAA record, going 147.6 and 331.5 in those two events respectively. He was also 137.8 in the 200 IM, his best time being 137.6 from a year ago at the NCAA championships. I think because it's a long course meet and it is a little different, he's probably gonna get a little more fatigue as the meet wears on. Even though at this meet, he's not worried about relays and he's only doing one event per day prelims finals, I think his IMs are going to be the weakest of the events, meaning he's gonna go right around best times 
in those events. Also considering that those two best times for him are his strongest two best times of these five events. So I'm calling 155 low and 404 low. Although I do think that there's a chance that he could just dip under Michael Phelps' 400 IM world record, which would be nuts to see that legendary world record get broken at a French trials win, we're almost certain he will go faster in five weeks at the World Championships. I don't think he breaks it, I think he gets close, but I think the really exciting events are gonna come in those first few days. Tuner Brest, he's gonna be just getting into the meet. I certainly think there's potential for a best time. I'm guessing somewhere right around 207 low to 206 high. That would be a big drop and that would be a very elite time. It's crazy to think that just a few years ago, the world record was still 207.0, but now it's 205.9. So the rules have completely changed for that event. And I think Leon is ready to step up to the plate. I don't necessarily think he's going to be swimming this 200 breaststroke at the world championships because now's a good time to pull up the world championship schedule and see how it falls for Mr. Marchand. So this meet is certainly front loaded for Leon. As we see here on day one, you've got the 400 IM prelims and finals. So right out of the gate, he's swimming his best event. We're gonna see a world record. I have zero doubt in my mind. Homeboy's going 401, keep the receipt. Day two is an off day unless he opts to swim the tuner free individually. But again, I really don't think that's gonna happen. Day three, we've got 200 fly prelims and semifinal. Day four, we've got 200 IM prelims, and then at night, 200 fly final, followed by 200 IM semifinal. Leon did this last year because the world champ schedule was the same, and so I think he's used to swimming that double, and he's not too worried about it. Day five is when things get tricky. That would be the 200 breaststroke prelim, if he so chooses to swim it, followed by the 200 breaststroke semi, and then right after the 200 IM final. For this reason, I do not think Leon will choose to swim the tuner breast individually at these world championships because he wants to defend that 200 IM world title and he's not gonna risk it for the 200 breaststroke. However, the event schedule does change for the Paris 24 Olympics, so keep your eyes out for that because I think he's going for it there. And then his meet pretty much wraps up on day six with the four by 200 free relay if he ends up swimming that, which I think he will. Day seven and eight, he has a chance to swim on other French relays, although I don't know if they'll opt to use him or not. I do think he's a bit more of a sprint weapon short course than he is long course, but we'll see how he progresses. So getting back to French trials, 200 breast on day one, I think 207 low, 206 high, really puts his name out there, not necessarily for contention at these world championships, but again, in contention for those 2024 Paris Olympic Games. 200 free, I think he goes 145 anything. A very solid swim that definitely puts him on the relay and puts France on the board to at least make top eight, but more importantly, be a podium threat. He knows this event very well. He's already 153.3 from last summer, and he's well into the meet at this point. He's warmed up, he's feeling good. I'm thinking a 151. Call me crazy, fine, but we saw Reagan drop a monster 200 fly in Tempe. Leon will be in his home country, and I think he will want to make a statement heading into these world championships. 151.9, 200 meter fly, Leon puts the world on notice and says, hey, I am not just a short course yard swimmer. Take that, swim swam commenters. And then again, I think he goes near best in both individual medleys, where he is really saving the fireworks for Fukuoka. So that's my Leon Marchand breakdown and preview for this upcoming French trials. Like many of you, I am so excited to see Leon once again compete at a high level meet in the long course meters pool. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. That really helps us out. In the comments below, tell me what you think Leon is going at the French trials this week in one event or all five events, specifically in that 200 fly. I think Bob Bowman knows how to train for the event, and we've already seen what Reagan can do, so I think Leon's gonna follow suit. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you'd like to stay up to date on all of our video content. Thanks a lot, I'll see you next time.